Hello everyone and welcome back to another new episode of Stardew Valley here on the Game Professor channel. I am your host, the Game Professor, and looks like we have Sunny for the Egg Festival. Makes sense. We will be winning the Egg Festival, by the way. And we have good luck today, so perfect. In that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to get our pickaxe and we will get a little bit further down in the mines. But first this letter, Dear Game Profess, tomorrow we are holding the Egg Festival in the town square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt from Mayor Lewis. Sounds good, Lewis. Definitely down for that. There we go. Let's get everything watered. All right. Nice, easy start to the day. Want to make sure... Whoops. Gotta have some watering mistakes early on in the game. It's more fun that way. I prefer it to only be one, though. Because I think I did just barely enough water in the can to get everything. Beautiful. And our rice looks good. Excellent. So, like I said, because we have some good luck today, I'm gonna have us go and get over to the mines once we're able to get our pickaxe. And after that, I think what we'll do... Yeah, just basically put ourselves in a good position to get everything going. Right now, uh, yeah, let's get some iron smelting while we have the opportunity to. Let's see if there's anything else we need at the moment. No, I don't think so. So let's drop off our fishing pole and head over to Clint's. Oh! I just realized it's a Friday, so I want to check the Traveling Merchant. But I'm already a, a good ways on my way over to Clint's. So... We'll do the roundabout route to get to the mines then. Not a big deal. Um, kind of returning back to that point of conversation I touched upon in one of the previous videos, the whole idea of how you approach the game and everything. I, um, I'm always fascinated by the challenge completers, um, whether it's speed based trials or completing the community center in a certain amount of time, making sure that you do a completionist run, whatever it may be. I'm always fascinated by those because they really rely heavily on perfection. And I really find that to be antithetical to a lot of what the game is trying to demonstrate and really urge players to contend with. So I'm curious as to what everyone's thoughts on that are. Make sure we don't get seen by Vincent checking out the trash. Oh, hi, Jazz. I don't know you. And you don't want to talk yet. That's fine, Jazz. I understand you're being a good child by not talking much with strangers. Always a good thing. And a horseradish, perfect. We are in good shape to maintain our energy. Let's see here. Um, hmm, uh, let's see. I do think, just because I'm not sure when I'm going to get rabbits, 
I'm going to get the rabbit's foot for the community center just because I don't know for sure when I'm going to get rabbits. And I will get one rare seed just because it never hurts to get rare seeds when they are available at the traveling cart. And I'm just making as many paths for me to walk through as possible right now. Oops. Clear out these weeds a bit. And we will drop some stuff off and then off to the mines. Get a couple more bars smelting. And beautiful. Get the rabbit's foot in there as well. Mostly because I just don't have a spot for community center items yet. But we are off. More noms, always good. Slash if we see Linus, I can give him either a leek or a horseradish. Probably a horseradish, because it's higher quality. Let's just see. See he over here? Nope. Probably going to be down by the lake then. Perfect. I'm so glad that I remembered what I needed to do to stow items. I'm sure that I had some people yelling at me a little bit, even though you couldn't see what my fingers were doing trying to stow it <laughs> before I found that setting again. All right. And I will continue to get the iron and the copper just because there's a lot right now, even though we have that ladder. And this is one of my favorite pieces of music from this game. There's something just beautifully contemplative about it that I adore. Beautiful. Not taking much or any damage yet, which is always excellent. And we get one with a track. Oh, gonna get some bats. Bat swarms. Gotta love them. And just because at, at the time that I'm recording this, I haven't seen any discussions of inventory management start yet, I may not have put up the videos where I talk about that yet, but still always posing the question, how does everybody deal with inventory management with this? Because really everything in this game is useful in some manner. Nothing really is trash, except maybe the Joja Cola. I think an argument could be made for Joja Cola being actual trash. But even the quote-unquote trash items, like trash, broken glasses, that's a good start, getting some gold already. Um... But even those pieces, the actual literal trash that you can fish up and everything, even those you can recycle and be they become useful items. So, you obviously haven't seen me do a major geode cracking run yet, but. I'm always surprised when I see people complain, oh darn, I got stone, darn, I got coal from geodes, and it's like, it's still useful. Why are you complaining about what you get? In a way, I wonder if that kind of ties into the sort of completionist or perfection of play mindset comes from. It's like, oh, it has to be something that I deem valuable. 
within the usefulness in order for me to see the value of it. So I don't know. Like, I can admit I've never really done much with the slime hutch or anything, but I still am always excited to get slime. And sap, like, basic fertilizer is where it's at, in my opinion. I don't think you need to get quality fertilizer to really do much better with your crops. So I'm always happy to see the sap drops from trees or from slimes. And I think I'm going to eat the cookies. Got our health and energy back up a bit. Get some of these spring onions as well. Just to top us off. So we can really go for the deep dive today. It'd be nice to hit level 60, I think. Wow, this is a very empty floor. How boring. Here we have something interesting. Ghost and a dust sprite. Wow, this ghost is taking forever to go down. But it's taking less time than it would have with any of the other swords. I will probably be able to use this sword up until I get the obsidian edge. Like, that, that, it'll start to be a bit weak by the time I get into the lava levels, but it'll still be passable. So I'm, I, I really cannot express how excited I am that I got this drop in that chest while fishing a few episodes ago. It really makes a huge difference. get a good amount of coal from this. Excellent. And some more bat wings. The one issue with the uh, with the Neptune's glaive is that it's a pretty slow sword overall. If I had one complaint, that's what it would be. But that's also in part because I have the Galaxy Sword in my other playthrough right now. I actually just did a pretty epic uh, Skull Cavern run in that playthrough, so I'm really excited to be progressing so quickly through the mines here in this one so that we can start going to Skull Cavern sooner rather than later. I'm always down for skull cavern runs as quickly as possible. Get me that iridium. Mostly so that I can get iridium bands because the, the iridium band is such a good ring. And the fact that you can double it up so you get double the magnetism, magnetism and double the light Oh, so good. Come on. Well, why don't you drop a ladder for me, please? Nope, of course not. Well, let's get the coal at least. And come on out. Wherever you are, you silly bat. Okay. And now we're officially in the management position. Um, mm, mostly because I know I will continue to get a lot more of it. I'm gonna get rid of the sap. I have plenty of ways that I can get sap. So 
it's not the end of the world if I lose a little bit that I'm getting from slimes. I'll get much more from trees after all. And I think I already have a pretty good backlog of it. So we should be in good shape once we start getting closer to summer. Oh, I want that geode. What to get rid of now? Um, You know what? I'll get rid of the slime too, honestly. Telling, okay, that was just the old inventory full message. Coolio. We are so close to hitting level 60. I am determined. Go away, ghosty. I don't want to play with you. I'm not... No, I don't have enough stone that I could just make a staircase. Darn it. Dang it. Ah, stupid ghost. Go away. Man, not even giving me a stinking ladder. My goodness. It's okay. We will get there. Oh, an Omni Geode. Darn it. Oof. Ah, uh, topaz. You can go away. Get plenty of topaz. Oh no. I missed that notification that I was getting tired. I saw the sweat. I was waiting for that notification though. <laughs> All right. Well. Ugh. I mean, at this point, I'm far enough away from the entrance that it doesn't really make sense for me to go running to it. So I will just power through to get to level 60. Get this iron first. Just because we don't have enough time to get back to the farm now. Nothing wrong with that. And... Crystal Dagger. All right. We can do that. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's see if we can get another five levels. <laughs> you never know. Never doubt the power of an in-game hour. You never know what you can get. Oh, perfect. Come on. Oh, boy. Let's see. If I get really lucky, it could happen. Um, those are better boots than what I have. Beautiful. Oh, and there we fall asleep. Darn it. We were close. Let's see. Hopefully I leveled something up. Oh, level up mining. Perfect. So I will have full energy. And combat. Always good. So our weather for tomorrow is going to be windy. And our luck today for the egg festival is neutral. All right. That is not bad. Let's see, is it Harvey or Joja who picked us up? All right, looks like I am a high enough level that I can get the Iridium Rod. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I had already hit that point and I decided to upgrade the pickaxe instead of that. But, uh, Game Profess, you're lucky I found you last night. You were unconscious and someone was searching your pockets. I have no idea how much money they took. They ran away as soon as I approached. Be more careful, Linus. I will, Linus, I will. Oh. Empty the inventory first. Um. And get rid of both of those. And the gold. 
already have enough for a gold bar. That's awesome. Um, well, while we're here, I am just gonna smelt these two copper ball bars I can smelt. Definitely a pretty good start here. Alrighty. And get all of these in here. Um, can put the crystal dagger there. Oh, I wasn't thinking about the fact that today's the egg festival. I wanted to get strawberries. Whoops. I should have gone fishing yesterday to make money. It is okay. I think... I think I might have enough money for a couple of strawberry seeds, maybe? We'll find out. We will find out. This uh, could be bad. But not the end of the world, ultimately. The, um, I wish that strawberry seeds became available in Pierre's shop in general. I think that that would be excellent, but you can't always get what you want, as they say. And really all you need to start getting a nice collection of strawberry seeds is a couple of seeds. So that's what I always go for. Pardon me, I, I just sneezed there. Kept it in so you didn't hear it, but it was there. Oh. Get the artifact. Lost book, always good. Get some more daffodils. Right. Just a little bit longer and we should be able to go in for the egg festival. Twenty minutes. Ten minutes. There we go. Alright, let's see how many strawberries I can get. I can get Two strawberry seeds. Perfect. So I will just use those purely to make seeds. That is what we're gonna do. Let's say hi to Shane. Our hens have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. They deserve the best tonight. Bowls full of sweet yellow corn. Excellent. No one really talks to me. I just come to put the deviled eggs. Well, you're always welcome in my book, Linus. We have Marlin. Even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. Ah, good to know, man. Caroline. Abby's always loved the, the egg hunt ever since she was a little tiny girl. Or just a tiny girl. I'm just adding words. Spring is a busy time of year. It's nice to have a day to catch up with friends. Well said, Robin. What about you, Demetrius? Egg. What a strange thing to eat. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Humans are kind of weird in what we decide to eat and drink, though. What do you have to say, Pam? Heh <laughs> I put something nice into the punch. Shh, it's just between you and me, kid. Oh boy, Pam. That's not good. Hey, Clint. Is there any more food? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of food. <laughs> hey, Gus. I hope everyone's enjoyed the food. I've been cooking for days to get everything ready. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, deviled eggs, scrambled eggs, chocolate eggs, you name it. You definitely do a lot there, Gus. Hey there, Emily. I've been up since dawn coloring eggs. It's always my favorite part of the season. It's a good season. Vincent loves this festival. It's a joy to see him so happy. I can only imagine, Jody. There, I'm, I'm an, a bunny. Am I a, am I a cool-looking bunny? Hi there, Willie. Sometimes I'll hide an egg too well and no one finds it. Well, until summer rolls around, then the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. Hehe. <laughs> That's not a good thing, Willie. You shouldn't be so amused by that. Oh, 
Hi, Harvey. Eggs definitely have a place in the well-balanced diet. Oops, I should take off my doctor's hat for the time being. Yeah, I, I'd say so. Harvey, you can have fun for a bit. Hi there, Alex. I try to eat at least three eggs every day. I need that protein for my legs. Well, as long as it's not too much. This festival is all right, but what I'm really looking forward to is the flower dance. That's because you like to be the center of attention, Haley. We used to do a rotten egg toss. Mary Lou's put an end to that pretty quick. Well, I would not be surprised by that, Sebastian. That doesn't seem like a very good idea. Searching for eggs is like going on a treasure hunt. A very appropriate thought process, Abigail. Ugh, my nose. Allergies. I am right there with you, Sam. That's actually what is ailing me right now and why I feel the need to sneeze. Still. <laughs> Mmm, this fruit punch is unusually good. Oh dear, Leah, you're about to get drunk. Taking breaks from work can make you more productive in the long run. That is too true, Elliot. Hi, Maru. I always look forward to these gatherings. It makes the valley feel like a real community. Yeah, it is through community engagement like this that a community really is formed. The children have been looking forward to this festival for weeks. I bet, honey, this definitely is more of a child-focused activity. That's for sure. Hey, Vincent. Oh, Vincent doesn't want to talk. I hope I can find some eggs before Vincent takes them all. You will, Jazz. There we go. When does the egg hunt start? I'm so excited! Soon enough, buddy. Soon enough. Last couple of people... Hey, how are you, Evelyn? This festival has been a tradition for as long as I can remember. Tradition connects us with both the past and the future. It's comforting. An interesting thought process. I think that we, um, especially nowadays, we there's there's kind of a love-hate relationship with tradition. So that I like that perspective though, because it it does. It's like this bridging of past and future over this individual concept or idea and definitely can be good or bad but definitely interesting to consider how are you george what's everyone so happy about <laughs> eggs why eggs well because they're tasty i guess <laughs> who knows hey marnie welcome to the egg festival compliments of my wonderful brood of hens and it's going to be excellent egg excellent marnie I apologize. Do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt to start? Yes, let's start, Lewis. And I'm determined to beat Abby. Oops, bumping my mic. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're gonna need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. And this is where the prize doesn't make sense that there's kids doing this. Now, is everyone ready? Let the egg hunt begin! And you will hopefully quickly see why the prize makes the child participation a bit strange. I think I have a pretty good pathway planned out at this point. There we go. Oh, I missed it. Oh, all right, detour. Up to nine. Ten, we can do it. I have faith in us. Can I get this last one? Booyah! I think that should do it. Do a little jig. Wow, look at all these eggs. 
Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town this side of the Gem Sea. <laughs> oh, boy. And now the winner of this year's egg hunt... Game Profess! Hooray! Here's your prize. Enjoy. And we get the straw hat. Well, that's it for this year's egg festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. Excellent. Another good little tune there. Alright, let's get these strawberry seeds planted. And we can put our straw hat on. We'll see how long I continue to wear that. I actually like this hair this time around, so probably want that to stay visible. Hello, Chester. And we will go to sleep for the night, and I think I will end this episode here, everyone. Um, even though it was a festival day, still getting pretty long. Another full day would definitely be getting very long in terms of episode length. So, as always, hit that subscribe button so that you always know when a new video is coming out. And follow the links to the Discord, Facebook page, and website. We um, are trying to build a, a community here of conversation, so we need voices in it. So please come by and bring your voice to the conversation. This is your Game Professor signing off. I will see you next time.